Hello, my name is Jay Pather. I'm uh, the director of the Gordon Institute for Performing and Creative Arts in the University of Cape Town. I'm a choreographer and um, performance art maker myself, but I work with various um, departments at the university as well as in the industry in Cape Town to create a largely interdisciplinary work, but mainly to push the cards on innovation since we where we have such a strong heritage of separateness and separateness in the discipline and separateness in our lives. So no, a number of the projects in, in, in South Africa right now are about finding ways in which those boundaries can be creatively broken and uh, a, a new work can arise to give uh, form to very, very complex, very layered um, issues, very layered senses of identity, very layered concerns in a post-colonial South Africa. Well, this weekend was about uh, finding, uh, finding a, an, um, an impetus for what is a growing movement in South Africa, even though it is quite profound in the rest of the world, but it is developing at quite a rapid rate in South Africa, this, uh, this notion of uh, screen dance. We've just called it loosely form and dance uh, because there are a range of different interactions uh, that we want to open up. It's a very, very powerful medium and we are recognizing that. We're recognizing how powerful it is on the internet. We're recognizing how, um, how extremely viable it is for uh, choreographers on this continent in particular to talk to each other and to be able to market themselves, but at the same time to find a new way of looking at the body. It was about bringing also uh, academics of the, at the university as well as professionals in the field, professionals like Jeanette Genslav and uh, Deirdre Taz who work in, the, in this kind of medium in a, in, on, on, a, on a large scale. The primary intention was to, to explore what the scope of this medium is, you know, from the very, very crassly commercial, mm. if you want, from the, the kind of Hollywood spectacular, the use of dance in those, in those screenings, through to the very experimental and the highly political. Another part of it was, is to inform uh, the development of a curriculum within the university. This was just the beginning of a series of discussions which we're hoping to take forward into actual programs where we bring together these various disciplines towards the creation of postgraduate degrees or postgraduate diplomas or fellowships or in 2013-2014 to start to, to introduce uh, uh, postgraduate programs. Wonderful, that was uh, really enlightening. Thank you very much, Jay. Thank you, it was fantastic to, to talk to you and to have you here. Okay. Yeah. Great, thank you. Hi, my name is Dominic Jossi. I'm the project convener of the Film and Dance Conference. And the purpose of the conference was to introduce the art form to the audience, as well as creating an opportunity for collaboration between artists. This was a kind of a dream of mine for a very long time. Well, I think we definitely started something. We, we evoked lots of thoughts, lots of discussions that needed to happen. We have lots of artists here who have delved into exploring media, the use of media and dance. And I think that this conference just gave them the opportunity to see what they can do with their art and how they can get it out there to the rest of the world. Well, we're hoping to do another film and dance conference next year and to have a bigger focus on the local development of dance on film. We'd like to include some workshops and we'd like to broaden our audiences not only having academics and industry professionals, but also non-academics and more students because at the end of the day we are on a campus and we need to involve the students more and we need to draw them into what we are doing more. So that's, that's what the purpose is. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.